So earlier in this module, we received our guided tour of the ribbon. Now let's look at how to customize the commands and the behavior of that ribbon. How do we do that? Well, if you guessed we're going to start in the backstage view, then you're definitely starting to get the hang of this whole ribbon thing. So let's start by clicking on the file menu, going down in the backstage view to options, and then you'll see that one of the options here is customize ribbon, one of the choices on the left-hand side. So if I click on customize ribbon, it gives me this interface, which lets me choose from commands on the left-hand column and then what tabs they go in on the right-hand column. So the interface here is pretty straightforward. You see the tabs, the checkbox in the tabs means that the tabs are active. Now that doesn't necessarily mean they're all visible. Some of these are specific to views. So what you're dealing with and what we're dealing with by default is the home tab of the ribbon, then insert, draw, design, layout, references, and so on. So these are, again, the active tabs. It doesn't necessarily mean that they are visible. Now to add a command, all you have to do is select a group that the command will go into, and then you choose the command, and then you add it to the group. Now I'm not gonna click on add just yet, because notice that in this dropdown, you can choose from popular commands, commands that are not in the ribbon. So if you wanted to focus on things that don't appear in the ribbon already, you can choose that dropdown. Macros, file tab. So these are things that are typically found in the file tab. In other words, backstage view stuff. If you wanted to create a shortcut without having to go to the backstage view and put it right on the ribbon, you can do that by clicking on the File tab. Main tabs, Tool tabs, you get the idea. So if you choose that, you can navigate and see what common commands are typically on the Home tab in the clipboard grouping. So now that you've got a little bit of a feel for choosing commands, I'll go back to Popular Commands. And this time here, I will choose a new tab on the right-hand side. So with Home selected, I'll click on New Tab. And notice that it put this new tab, this custom tab, underneath the currently selected tab, which was Home. So what I can do is I can select it and rename it. So we'll just call this one Brian. And then click on OK. And then I can do the same thing with the group. I can select the group and rename it. And I can display name here. I can call it... Um, custom grouping here. So now that I've got the tab name, all I have to do is start to add my commands. So let's just say, for example, I wanted center and I want to add center. Now it's going to add it to the grouping. If I select the tab and try to add copy, notice that it will tell me it needs to be added to a custom group. So pick a tab in the list, then click on New Group if you want to create it. Otherwise, I'll click on the grouping, and then let's just say I want Format Painter added to it. So now that you've gotten a feel for how to add the custom tab and the custom group, let's click on OK and see what effect that had on the interface. So if I look in the ribbon once again, next to Home is this new customized tab called Brian and the commands center and format painter that have been added to this custom grouping. So that is how you customize the ribbon. Now, if I want to go back and add to it or remove commands, all I have to do is go back to the backstage view, click on options, and then click on customize ribbon once again. And I'll cancel this right now because I'll show you a different technique to do it. If I right click, I am able to customize the ribbon and it kind of shortcuts me to the options dialog and it takes me right down to that customize ribbon section. So now if I look at the commands by expanding with the plus and I want to remove a command, I do so by selecting it and clicking on that remove button. Now, there is also a reset button. If you start to make customizations and then it ends up confusing you or slowing down your work view, workflow in any way, you can click on this reset button 
and reset all customizations. This will delete the ribbon and quick access toolbar customizations for the program. Click on yes and then click on OK. Now the Brian tab that we just added is no longer. In terms of the quick access toolbar, it's this little section up here. So some commands can be kept in what's called a quick access toolbar. It's not something that I use very often, but there is an undo button here and a save button that do come in handy. Uh, I don't use them that much, and I typically don't customize the quick access toolbar, but it can be something that is handy, and it's also something we'll talk about later on in this course.